You can get the calibration disk used at absforum.com. Go to your DVD player settings and set the color space to TV or limited RGB. 24 bits per pixel, 1080p, and HDMI input. The next thing you want to do is select a good preset picture mode from your TV. Calibrated dark and calibrated are good. Leave the auto brightness control off. Adjust the backlight so that the brightest whites are comfortable to view. Go to the advanced picture settings. Leave the color temperature normal and turn off all the other advanced features. You can leave film mode at auto. Now you're going to want to go to the DVD menu and select basic settings and use the brightness control to make sure level 16 and below are solid black. At level 17 you should just barely see a vertical flashing bar. The next thing you do is use the contrast control to adjust so you have levels 235 and above at solid white. Some material has super bright whites, so if you have, say, 240 and above as solid white, that's good. Now you're going to go to the professional color tuner and enable the blue only mode and go back to the color adjustment and you're going to adjust the color so that two outside vertical bars don't have any flashing squares in them that are visible. Then you're going to use the tint control to make sure the two inside vertical bars don't have any flashing squares in them. Go back to the professional color tuner and enable green only. And there would be four vertical bars and they're slightly different greens. Make sure you've adjusted that so that all the greens are the same color. And then with red, you would have four separate vertical bars. Make sure those four vertical bars are the same color red. It's good to know that blue, cyan, and magenta affect each other. Green, cyan, and yellow affect each other. Red, magenta, and yellow affect each other. Now you can turn that back on. Go and watch DVDs, TV programs, and if you think the colors are oversaturated like I did, you can turn the color adjustment down, go back to the professional color tuner, and only using that, adjust the blues so that there's no flashing squares in the vertical bars. And then you would do the same with green and you would do the same with red. And if you're happy with the way the colors look now on your DVDs and TV programs, you're done. But there's another pattern on this disc that can give you a better idea of how well you've adjusted it. Miscellaneous patterns, various B, has red, green, and blue arranged with the appropriate secondary colors. So when you have the blue only mode you can see how well you've adjusted it green and red you see we don't have a very good adjustment right now so earlier I have a picture mode that I made that I call Xbox and go back to the professional color tuner and you can see that my blues match and my green and my reds match and in less than five minutes, you're done.